All right, guys, so I thought I was going to vlog, and I think it's a little harder than um, it's, like, made out to be. Like, I guess you have to do things that are exciting, and <laughs> I don't really have anything exciting to do. Um, I do, you know, I do want to try a vlog again, um, and hopefully actually do one. But um, the thing is, I kind of wanted to stop the vlog today anyway, because I just wanted to talk about, like, something that I just, like, I've been wanting to talk about it, but I just haven't. But today seems like the perfect time because I actually left my house. So for those of you who don't know, I have social anxiety and agoraphobia. I also have generalized anxiety and depression. Like, I'm not trying to make a list, but I just want you to get a picture of, like, the biggest, like, hot mess you could think of. Um, so I haven't left my house in... Uh, probably since we've been here, I've left twice, and I, I didn't go anywhere really, I stayed in the car, um, but that, that was huge for me anyways, getting in the car, but that's for a whole nother conversation, but the thing I wanted to talk about is how fear, which is essentially my social anxiety, or any, any of my anxiety really, is fear driven of, you know, and I think that's really what it is, like you're afraid something is going to happen, and so... I've been, like, letting my fear, like, trap me inside my house. Like, I, I just got to the point where I'm just kind of, like, my house is like a prison because it's the same thing every day, every, like, all the time. And it's, it's kind of, I think that is a bigger problem, like, that's contributing to my depression. And when I start talking about this stuff, I get really weird. So I'm sorry if I'm kind of, like, stuttering or stumbling um, that's part of my anxiety. So, um, it's lovely. <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about how fear can literally trap you. And that's what it's done to me. And it's just, it's getting worse, unfortunately. And I feel like, I don't know. My, my point of this is, if anyone watching this has, like, I'm not talking about, like, a fear of spiders or something, but, like, if anyone literally has anxiety or something to that effect, any type of anxiety disorder, or even nerves, I mean, this could be helpful. I really hope that you're able to not allow your fear to grow. Like, over the time that I've not left my house and I've been avoiding my friend Tammy, um, she's the one that was holding the goat in that little uh, clip. Um, obviously I didn't show her face because she didn't, she didn't want to be on camera and I don't have a problem with that. So, um, but yeah, she's a really amazing person and she's such a sweet person. And even though all of that is true, I've been avoiding her since like a month or two after we moved in and we live 50 feet from me, from, from each other. And it's just kind of like, it's, it's stupid. It's, it doesn't make sense, but like your anxiety can do that. Fear has a way of kind of like paralyzing you to the point where you just don't do it and I was getting to the point where I wouldn't even text her because I didn't want I wanted her to forget I was over here um hiding away because I didn't I didn't want to have to like make an excuse not to go over and hang out with her or have a conversation with her and the thing is it's not that I didn't want to have a conversation with her it was that it's difficult for me to face my fear and I know that everybody has to do that, and I realize I'm where I'm at because of that. And I know that fear basically just continues to grow if you don't do anything about it. Fear is not something that just goes away. It's not like one day you're, like, terrified of something, and it's, like, keeping you from doing things you need to do or you want to do, and then all of a sudden, like, it's poof, it's, it's gone. It's not like that. And I just, I hope that people out there who are dealing with something that they can't face or like anxiety in general I really really implore you and like hope that you would be able to at least take the the first step because today is the first day that I have really left my house with the intentions of seeing another person um today is the first day that I have talked to Tammy in over a month I did it because I know she's a good person and I enjoy spending time with her and like, I'm really jittery and kind of, like, tense and, like, near a panic attack right now. But I feel like in order to squash the fear, you have to do what you're afraid of. And 
it's hard. Like, it's so simple. All I did was go over there, um, and I walked in, I sat down at her table, and we talked. I mean, my husband was there. Um, I usually take him because he's like a buffer. If I get weird, he kind of, like, takes the reins of the conversation. But, like, it breaks my heart that I'm not the only person that goes through this. Like, there's people out there who can't leave their house. There's people out there who are afraid of simple social human things. Like, humans are social things, you know? And I just feel like I don't want people to get as bad as I am. Like, I'm sorry I'm crying, but I didn't mean to. But, like, I don't want people to end up where I'm at. Like, it's not that I'm helpless, because I'm not. Like, if I could just get past being afraid of judgment, like, I just hope that other people can, like, you can get past it. And the thing is, you, like, you can know, like, I know for a fact, like, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks about me. It should only matter what I think. But the thing is, when you have anxiety, your brain can convince you of things that you logically know aren't, like, real. And, like, it's not like you're crazy or anything, but, like, if you believe, like, if, I don't know, it's like such a subconscious belief in your head that you just you can't override it very well like it's hard to override it you can do it obviously people you know overcome anxiety and many other things all the time but like it's I don't know my, my purpose of this is that we can get better and today I did something that terrified me and it sounds so silly because I would just talk to someone I knew, but like, you know, I just, I went and I had a, like, what, hour conversation with someone that I knew, and yet it was terrifying, and yet, like, I think I did really well through it. Like, I'm not trying to say that I didn't. I tried to conversate. I think I conversated a lot more than I usually do. I was trying to, you know pretend I knew how to have a conversation, like, it's really hard to explain, but, like, my, my, oh my god, my purpose of crying on camera is we can change, and the thing is, today, I can have a conversation with someone. Is it terrifying? Am I scared? Do I put it off? Do I... I don't know. And the thing is, there's other people that feel the same way. There's other people who think that they can't do it and that are too afraid and, like, you can fucking do it. You can do it. I can do it. It's a slow process, but it's, it's possible. And I don't know. I guess that's all I really have to say. Um... I hope the goats were worth it, and I hope maybe, I don't even know if my pep talk or my, my whatever this was at the end, oh my god, um, I hope, I don't really know if this part of the video was very helpful, um, I hope that it does help somebody, I hope that, um, I don't know, anxiety can be so um, misunderstood, because a lot of people don't understand how you can be so, like, controlled by it. And the thing is, it does control you. you. You can have a logical thought, but whatever is subconsciously, like, burned into your your mind, it's hard to convince it otherwise. Like, that, that sounds weird, but I don't know. That's all I'm, I'm done talking. I don't know. I'm just rambling now, but... Yeah, I don't know. Today is going to be, I don't know. <laughs> um, thank you guys for uh, listening to me ramble. Anyway, um, 
Bye. <laughs>